Thank you for joining me for this newest installation in the early morning under the apple tree aha experiences. Except that this morning I am in Cocoa Beach watching the sunrise over the Atlantic Ocean and also watching some pelicans get their breakfast. I want to share with you my recent, as in the last 12 hours, ahas around receiving and sacrifice. And I want to ask you first to really take this moment to connect to what it is you want to receive. And I want you to open up to the idea that maybe you have been resisting receiving. I realized, um, well, it's been months ago now, but I so much prefer or am more comfortable giving, teaching, sharing than receiving. You'd think it'd be the other way around. Receiving is an art. It is um, a gift that we get to remember. How do you feel when someone pays you a compliment, for example? Do you brush it aside, oh no, I'm not good at that? Or do you receive it? So that's a way to tell your comfort with receiving. And when you open up to receiving, even more so than you do already, what you also receive is insight and wisdom and guidance. This has been my experience just in the last 12 hours. I'm staying in this magical beach place guest houses and when I made the reservation months and months ago, I had an idea around um, some private clients that were going to join me here and that didn't work out and in reality some other private clients are surprised joining me and so it's all good but I realized that I was meant to receive this personal retreat time so receiving is something that I invite you to expand into more so and along with that the pelicans are bringing to me their message around sacrifice and I was just talking about this yesterday so we have this image of um, sacrifice as being like you have to sacrifice you know your joy or your pleasure in order to really serve right it's kind of the way we were raised and the truth is that you following your life's purpose honoring your heart and what your soul came here to experience will never include pain or suffering or sadness or a sense of loss because happiness and joy are built into the human DNA to help guide us help us recognize why we are here what we came to share our special medicine that only you can share with the world so sacrifice is about sacrificing the inner critic, sacrificing the tendency you have to straight arm compliments. See how this is connected? Um, to sacrifice putting others before you, sacrifice a story, an old story you have, right? I realized I have stories, we all have stories from our childhood. I remember in high school, I used to leave the house like so excited to just be me for the next you know six or eight hours and I was kind of a rebel in high school I wasn't following the rules and so I had this belief that you know if they really knew what I was doing that they wouldn't love me and I realized I was carrying that around and so I've sacrificed that so this morning, as I leave you with these waves coming in to the shore, I want you to listen to them, look at them as they approach, and imagine that the ocean is rushing to deliver to you, to gift to you, to give you the opportunity to receive the insight you need, the aha you need, or desire, the wisdom you desire, the opportunities, the connections. Look at those waves just rushing. Ooh, we've got a gift for you. 
Come, come, come. Here you go. Here it is. Delivered right to your feet. That infinite, expansive ocean full of gifts, full of opportunities, delicious experiences. And Mother Ocean is delivering them to you on the tip of those waves. Here they are, here they are, receive them. Please receive my gifts. Okay, that is my early morning aha experience for you. Have a most magical day. Thank you so much for subscribing to this YouTube channel and for sharing your email with me at WhitneyFreya.com so that I can continue to drip the magic on you and inspire the art that is your life. And if you are an artist who is interested in reaching out, sharing, teaching more powerfully, maybe you're a wannabe artist like I used to be, or an artist who has a sense that there's a bigger reason why you teach and share and create, please contact me so I can be the wind beneath your wings.